I'm going to show you the five coolest coats that I have found while thrifting. Hey you guys, what is up? It is I, the Concrete Catwalk. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I am a reseller that loves all things thrifted, vintage, pre-loved, you name it, estate sailing, sailing, I love it. To my catwalkers, mwah, welcome back to a new video this Sunday. I want to show you and tell you five of the coolest coats that I have picked up in my thrifting travels. I'm not gonna delay this. We're gonna jump right into this. First coat, I am showing you gorgeous leopard print vintage. I love this so much because you guys know leopard print is very versatile. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. It doesn't matter if it's in a coat, if it's in a pant, if it's in a shirt, dress form, it is very flexible. I saw it and I just could not resist the beauty of it. The buttons are gold tone with black accents in the center. The inside of this is stunningly fabulous. And I will show you guys either over here or over here what it looks like when it's on. It was the one of the most, out of these, one of the most greatest finds that I have picked up while, while thrifting. This coat is heavy. This coat works well with layering underneath to keep you warm. And I am so glad that this is something that I added into my thrifted gorgeous coat collection. Coat number two, this gorgeous long barber coat. This coat is special to me because I found it at a hospital charity event. I had gone in and I was looking around. I was not expecting to come out with a coat. It is beautiful inside and out. The lining is flawless. It's vented just right at the back. And when I tell you I saw this coat, this coat was $19 when I purchased it three years ago. And the retail of this coat is closer to more like $700. This is so stunning. It is so well crafted. And you can see the little details on the coat, the pockets, everything about this coat I am in love with. I love it when it's dressed up and I decide that I want to wear something that has a little bit more oomph to it in an outfit. So I think you guys get the point, but this, I absolutely adore. Coat three, this gorgeous Alexander Wang short pea coat. This is just like a hip grazing pea coat in the most beautiful of gray. And I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the detail at the back. When I came across this coat, I could have passed out. I'm gonna show you the inside of it. It is a size six. It fits very loose and comfortable. This coat is easy to wear with a turtleneck, to put a sweater underneath, whatever I choose to do in terms of layers. The sleeves are gorgeous on this. It is the most soft charcoal gray material I think that I have ever felt. And the lining inside on this is absolutely stunning. This is definitely one of those things when I picked it up, I knew it was going to be a closet keepsake keeper curated to my, yeah, you get the point, you get the point. Number four, deep royal blue, faux fur, full length coat. Sometimes when I am out and my headspace is totally clear, the most unexpected things come across my radar. And I believe I picked this coat up while I was thrifting in Pennsylvania five years ago. And just look at the detail on this, the gold buttons, the hoops, the clasps, the buttons here. It is just fantastic. And one thing that I always do when I'm looking at coats, especially vintage coats, older coats, is pay attention to the inside linings. And look especially at the armpit areas, if there are any holes. I'm not saying that that's a deal breaker, no, but I am saying it helps when there is a lining that is totally clean and intact. There are no stains in here. There are no rips. 
there, there's nothing that would give you an indication that the coat is a problem. When I'm looking for coats or going in with a mindset of having something in mind that I'd like to pick up in a coat while I'm thrifting, I think this ticks all of the boxes. So this is a, oh, this is a stunner and I love wearing this. Coat number five is 1960s Stunner. And I can't even describe to you how much this puts me in the mindset of Gucci. It's so clean, it's just simplistic. And I love the fact that there's just a single belt here where you just run it through. And this looks great, worn open or shut. And you'll see it in the box, but this is fantastic. Again, clear, clean lining on the inside, no wear. The back of this is stunning. And it's a, a double vent flap back here. It is so gorgeous. I absolutely love everything about this. This is the perfect coat. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, and it's a great transition coat into warmer weather for this upcoming spring. And I love wearing this as well. The final coat that I'm showing you guys is an honorable mention. Motorcycle jackets are creeping back on the trend. Buzz that goes along with motorcycle jackets, I don't think that they ever go out of style. I think motorcycle jackets are an accent piece, a staple piece to any wardrobe because there's so much that can be done with a motorcycle jacket over shorts, over dresses, over skirts, skinny jeans, wide leg jeans, wide leg pants, you name it, a motorcycle jacket offers you that versatility. This was an unexpected find. And most of these coats that I have, they have been a part of my closet for at least three years or more. What I appreciate about something like this is that it is so soft, it is so worn in, the sleeves show wear, everything about this is just what you would want in a motorcycle jacket, what I would want in a motorcycle jacket, and that is why I have this. So you guys, let me just say this, these coats. When you are looking for things, especially if you have an idea in mind about what you want, it is better to just go in and just start looking. It may be that you have a coat on your mind that may, may not be what you come out with. You may go in with something totally different on your mind and you come out with a coat when you have a thought in your head, I think it's just subconsciously there and whatever happens when you go and you thrift is what happens. Now, I find that when I'm thrifting, I always tend to migrate towards the middle of, of racks, no matter what it is, if it's coats, if it's dresses, if it's shirts, I don't know why I'm always drawn to the middle of the racks and then I work out to either side of the ends. It just, I just noticed my pattern and that's just what happens. I find that in the middle of the racks where everything is all jammed together, that's where the treasures exist. I kid you not. When you have to start pushing back things and you start looking into things that might be tucked in other things or over top of something else that's on a hanger, that is when you find everything. I just love the fact that vintage coats have so much character to them. The materials are much heavier, they're different. The richness of the patterns, and the fact that they hold their form, meaning the coat could be from 1965, but you put it on today, real time, 2021, it is as a modern, modernly vintage as you can get. This gives you a whole different vibe, the look. And it's to me, vintage is not try hard. It's not trying to be something because it already is something. So you guys, I just wanted to pop in and I just wanted to share with you those coats that just called to me and said, hey, I need to be a part of 
your curated collection. Here they are. Guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you have in your closet that you thrifted in a coat that you just, you can't even believe that you found? Let me know in the comments below. Share with me your thoughts about how you found it or, or the ways in which when you approach a rack, what do you do when you, you're thinking about something and you just get that feeling about perhaps potentially maybe you're going to find it there. That is it. That is all that I have for this week. Just some show and tell and a little bit of sprinkle. Thank you so much for watching. Please head on over to Poshmark. Take a look at my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk from Poshmark. I typically list things in my closet every week. If there's something you see, please feel free to send me a message there or follow me on Instagram. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Those things I list in Poshmark, I typically post over on Instagram as well. Please feel free to DM me there. If there's anything you see that you like, DM me and together we can talk about it and work it out so that you can get it before somebody else does. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to talk about. Do you want to talk about anything, anything at all related to thrifting, pre-love? So tap that bell so that you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. If you don't want to miss out, I post videos every Sunday. Tap the bell and you will be notified every time I drop a new video video. Thank you so much for tuning in this Sunday. Be safe. I love you all. Bye for now.